Hey everyone, so today in Photoshop what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to slice images. Slicing images can be used for website design, graphical user interfaces in Visual Basic, or just uh, getting one big image and splitting it into lots of smaller images. This is going to work with Photoshop CS1, 2, 3 or 4. I'm going to be showing you how to do it today in CS3. Things may vary slightly between versions, but this tool is available in all four of those versions. So let's okay, get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go onto Adobe Photoshop. You want to open it up. Today, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is slicing images. And uh, for an example, I'm going to be designing a quick and easy menu bar. Um, I'm going to be splitting the menu bar icons up together. Okay, so now that's loaded, um, go to File, New, or Control N. Um, file new, I'm going to select 700 width by height of 40, that's roughly a menu bar size. Um, and now we need a background, so I'm going to add a gradient overlay. Um, I'm going to add a light to a dark blue, so there we go, I've got it on my presets. Click it, there we go, you can see the colour gradient, and click OK. Uh, hold down on Shift, drag down with the mouse, let go with the mouse, and let go of the Shift button. Go back to the arrow key, and there we go, that's our layer one. Now we're going to add text. Uh, so you select the font you want, I'm going to go for Mool Boran, Boran, um, and type in the, what, what you want for the menu. So obviously we want a home page. Um, what else? About us. Um, I'm going to make this a software development site, so development development pages, I'm going to have a download centre, um, obviously you can put whatever you want here, uh, and then I'm going to have previous uh, previous versions, um, and then a contact us page, <coughs> obviously you can have what you want there, um, but this is just an example, so this is going to be an example of what you might put for a software site, um, so centrally align it, or however you want to put it, um, and now we're going to go to the slice tool, this is the main part. Um, as you know, I'm going to add some effects, so you double click on that, um, and then this layer style pops up. I'm going to add a gradient overlay. I'm going to add a white to a light silver, there we go, it's on my presets. Click OK, and as you can see, it's just added a tiny bit of an effect. Um, so now you can click OK. Now we're going to the slice tool, sorry. Um, so the slice tool is that thing down there. Um, and you just select uh, each page, so you select the home page, just drag it over the home page, the about us page, the development page, and you just drag it all over all of them. Don't worry about the things, uh, the dashes in between them. They will automatically become uh, selected layers. Oh, went over a bit there. Uh, oh gosh, went under. Um, so yeah, mm, that's very rough, but yeah. Um, so you just select kind of what you want, or kind of the, the pages that you want, or if it's going to be slicing something else, you just select the slices, the sections. Um, let me try and make this bigger actually. Oh, no, it's snapping. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so you just select the slices and instead of going to File, Save As, you go File, Save for Web and Devices and this box pops up and there you go, you can see all the slices. Select the preset that you want. I'm going to go for PNG 24, which is the highest quality PNG. And I'm going to click Save. I'm going to go to the desktop. Obviously, you can save it wherever you want and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to name it Menu Bar. Uh, and I'm going to go into it, and I'm going to save it here. You can save it type as uh, HTML and images, uh, images only, or HTML only. I'm going to save it as HTML and images, um, and name it menu, and click save. As you can see, the progress bar at the bottom telling you how much it's saved, and then it should close after it's saved it all. Now you can you can either save it as a PSD file by going to File Save As as usual, or you can just close it. Um, and there you go, there's a menu bar folder that we created um, and it creates this, it creates a um, an HTML document and it pieces the images back together so they look like uh, they did on uh, Photoshop except they're pieced back together um, but they are all in sections so if we go to the folder now, the images folder which is also, also being created they're all, our, uh, they're all our slices, they're all the different image slices that we've saved. So that's how to do um, slicing in Photoshop. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.